Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Jesse. You're watching JLS Comics, and today we're doing a video that's a little bit different than what I normally do on this channel. So I've been on vacation for a while. If, if you've noticed, if you've been following my channel, I try to post a couple of videos a week, at least one. We do the live show on Thursdays, and I try to do something else if it's a haul or what have you throughout the week. It's been about... I would say four weeks since I posted my last video. Um, had a lot to do with work, uh, going out to California for that, which uh, stay tuned because I do have a good uh, video coming up uh, with footage and my experience there with, with some of the shops that I visited. Need a little break too, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, from YouTube. So it's a perfect time. But later, uh, or earlier rather, this week, uh, the shop where I get my uh, weekly pull list from, it's called Lauderdale Comics, uh, posted something on their Facebook page, uh, well, their social media, um, saying that the shop would be closing. Uh, been open for about three years, uh, really developed a good friendship and relationship with the staff there, uh, most notably Melissa. When the shop first opened, I, I did a nice interview with uh, the owner, Stacy. Yeah, it was kind enough to sit down with me and, and talk for a few moments. That's up on the channel as well, so feel free to check that out. That's from a couple of years ago. Needless to say, I've been liking going to the shop. I've uh, been getting my books uh, pretty regularly. Uh, they have some really cool stuff like this Joker you can see in front of you, uh, Harley Quinn, all types of collectibles, statues, figures, uh, the vinyls, uh, DC collectibles, uh, Kodobukias, uh, you name it. They, they have it there. And then a really good... Um, you know, um, actually, I bought that Harley Quinn right there. You'll see that in a haul video coming up soon. It's been a lot of fun going to the shop. Uh, the reason was, uh, you know, uh, something happened uh, where they sold the building or the space that they're in. Um, you know, and that happens. That's, uh, you know, that's retail. Uh, shops come and go. So this is another one that will be falling victim to a competitive space. Not only, um, you know, just in general. In terms of you know subscribers and sales but uh, specifically here in Broward County there's quite a few shops so I'm blessed with the fact that there's a uh, that much uh, that many stores available to me um, within uh, such a close proximity um, these are really great too I wanted to pick up that uh, Harley um, those um, these here uh, Batman that Harley Quinn I was gonna get when I went back it's not there but I did buy that Catwoman he just saw um, so I'm kind of at a crossroads right now, uh, being that I'm not quite sure where I want to go forward from here. So this is where I was wanting your help. I have a couple of options. Um, can I move my pull list? Sure. Um, do I do that online? I know there's a couple of great shops. I've used Midtown in the past. Uh, I know a lot of people recommend um, discount comic books, uh, DCBS as well. Um, and then I, there's a couple other shops in the area. Um, when I first moved to Florida, I was using one called Zeldiva. That one closed. Moved it out to Tate's, which is kind of far out west from me. Um, and then I came over here when this shop opened to Lauderdale Comics. Uh, I'm also at a point where I kind of want to downsize where my collection is right now. Um, it's getting kind of uh, big. <laughs> um, borderline unmanageable. Uh, I am moving. In a couple of weeks, there's the logo for Lauderdale Comics. You can see me right there. Um, and I've had fun with this machine here. I think it's a custom cabinet. Uh, free play on a bunch of these uh, these games on here. But um, yeah, so I, I don't know what I want to do right now. Like I said, I'm at a crossroads. Should I take a break? Should I take a break from YouTube? Uh, should I take a break from new books? Um, should I move to an online service? Or another store locally need your help to, to you know figure that out so go ahead and leave me some comments down below with your input and um, we can definitely kind of together figure out what I should do um, there are a few books that I still like to get uh, that being said my pull list has been uh, drastically uh, decreased in size and in, in terms of what I get each week uh, over the past like year two years um, there's a lot of stuff that I used to like to pick up but you know I don't very much anymore but there are the the ones that I always get through thick and thin I'm not a Fairweather fan like Spider-Man for example ups and downs with that for sure uh batman too i would even say you know with tom king stuff love it or hate it slower stuff you know some more action stuff i pick it up throughout that so this is you know basically where i'm at right now um you know big big old crossroads i am moving as well um you can see the outside there there's the logo again uh in about three weeks to a new place still in, in fort lauderdale still in town but um 
you know, all of these things are kind of meeting at this one point where I need to decide what I want to do moving forward with my collection, with my YouTube, um, with my, you know, where I'm picking up my books. Um, and uh, not quite sure. So like I said, I need your help with that. But I figured, you know, I would talk a little bit with you while I walked around the shop. Just kind of captured some stuff here. Um, you can see a bunch of the shelves are kind of empty. This was a sale rack here, or not a rack, a sale table. Um, but uh, they, they got cleaned up pretty quick. Um, four for a dollar on the back issue that they have there on the floor, so 25 cents. Um, that Rogue I actually wanted to pick up too. That was uh, Savage, not this one, the other Rogue was Savage Land Rogue. I think that was a fairly new um, statue from Diamond Select uh, that they had picked up. Um, but 60% uh, off on the collectibles is pretty good. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, shops, you know, closing and coming and going and, you know, oh, you know, shops close. That means that the industry is collapsing. You know, the end of the world is here. The sky is falling. But really, the way I see it is that's just business. You know, that's just the, the capitalist nature of the society we live in. I mean, a perfect example, probably the best one, and maybe not entirely, you know, apples to apples is the food and beverage industry. Restaurants come and go all the time. You know, you don't see a, uh, a store close down, a restaurant, and like, oh my god, the restaurant industry is collapsing, and we're never going to be able to go out to eat anymore. It doesn't work that way. That's just, you know, uh, shops fail, shops close, shops thrive for all different reasons. And um, there's some core things that they should do if they, they want to thrive. Um, diversification is, is a big one. Um, and, uh, but there are a bunch of other factors as well that are, you know, at play there. So, you know, I don't want to say that this shop closing... Uh, is you know an indicative of a failing industry um, but what I will say is that it makes me sad because this was you know kind of a uh, you know second or third home to me over the past couple of years I always enjoyed going into Lauderdale Comics chatting it up and chopping it up with uh, Melissa um, talking with the staff you know just looking around at all the cool new stuff and um, you know all the books here new shelves um, and uh, just having fun with it so um, you know kind of end of an era there um, but um, I still am very much into collecting and into the hobby. Here's some Disney stuff. Um, but I don't know what I want to do kind of right now moving forward. You know, it's a good time to take a pause, kind of trim down some things, uh, maybe make it you know meaner and leaner, you know, get rid of some of the, the less uh, filler stuff. Um, I don't know. I have a couple couple ideas and I'll probably talk about those on the live show or definitely coming back on Thursday. Uh, of this uh, coming week for the live show. So I'll probably talk about some more stuff on there. But uh, definitely go ahead and leave me some comments on this video with your ideas or your suggestions or your thoughts on what I should do kind of moving forward. If I should go with online for my pull list, um, if I should move over to another shop, uh, if I should take a break, um, downsize, auction, sell. Uh, wh what do you think I should do at this point? So help me with that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what I wanted to share with you. I just want to let you guys know that I am uh, back, sort of, uh, to making some videos semi-regularly. Uh, I'm kind of trying to ramp up to where I was. Um, but uh, we will get there, I think. Um, so that's it. Um, this is Lauderdale Comics here. Uh, this is Jesse here talking to you <laughs> uh, on JLS Comics YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next video.